Welcome in to the new members and to the old members that have found their way back to the community. I need you just as much as you need me. In this morning's update, we've got several different things to talk about. We'll talk about yet again another XRP whale sells 25 million XRP. So that certainly helps contribute to the price drop. We've got Bitcoin coming up to a critical point right now as we have the pivot point support that we're up against. And if we lose that, this could signal our drop down to about 59. Well, it's actually a little bit lower, but we'll take a look. Somewhere between 55 and 59,000. We'll take a look at the technical drop zone as well. We've got XRP sitting down 2.68%. And I don't think this is a surprise to anybody today as we talked yesterday about the whales unloading XRP and not just the whales in particular, Ripple. And they had a massive 240 million sale. So... That helped contribute to the 17% price drop. So now we're in the consolidation phase. And the other, the one good exciting thing is, is out beneath all of what's going on, we actually printed our first Golden Cross of 2024. We're going to read that after I get through with the technicals. And we're going to read about this at the end. So if you want to hear about this, we'll read through this at the end and convert it or compare it to our own technical analysis. And we'll see if there's any relevancy there, if it's just kind of like a false signal or what's actually going on here. We have to make sure to look at the total crypto market cap as well today as it's down below 2.47 trillion, down about 45.49 billion or down 1.8%. But if you were in the live yesterday, we talked about how Bitcoin has fallen outside of the bullish pattern. And now it was either we continue this fall down or we do get a reversal candle here. And we come up here and retest somewhere around 73,000 to see if we are, in fact, overtly bearish. Otherwise, if we just break down and continue moving down, our technical target's 59,984 in this area. So, but now, just consider this. If this is a reversal candle, because I know a lot of people will get shaken out already. But if this is a reversal candle, as we went down to 66,800, we went up to 68,900. Now we're dead in the middle. If this is a reversal candle, the only thing that's going to change here if we get a rejection is going to be instead of having to drop from there, and this is why it's important, and we'll get into this with the technical analysis, but I want to get everybody a quick look this morning at what could possibly happen. Let's just say it runs out somewhere over here, and we retest in this area. Well, then instead of having to drop down to 59,984, it could switch it to 61,954. This is irrelevant to me. So that's the two options we've got right now. We're either going back up to back test or we're going to finish this drop to 59,984 and then possibly overrun it to 55,000, which would be the first confirmation hit on support of that broadening wedge that we had with Bitcoin on the breakout. We've not hit it as support yet. So if we did come down there, that would make a perfect amount of sense to come down you know, at about that 56, 57,000 level to hit that rising channel resistance as support for the first time. And then for XRP, we're coming to critical points here, as we know. XRP, just to give you a heads up, this is what we're looking at right now is X would mark the spot there, and I put it in um, green just so it'd be easier to see the support side of things right now. And those are how this happens, so... Let me uh, fix this because somehow that's not accurate. I must have moved it when I was. But that's what we're looking at. And then this is kind of like that downtrending resistance. That's the overextension area. But I'm, I'm willing to get rid of that to make it easier to see. So it's either it's going to hold this. Or we'll just have our drop down. And the targeted move after that would be coming down here to 53.14 cents. We do have an uptrending hit of support here. Or at least a hit of support. So after move up, bam, move up, bam. So we speculated that move up, bam. And if it's going to hold, and that would come down to the bottom of the handle support. And we'll get into the handle support and the cup and handle on our other chart. But I just wanted to give everybody a quick sneak peek here while I'm doing the intro, exactly what's going on between Bitcoin and XRP and to see the critical levels we've got to hold. We do have a couple of things of reading this morning as well. As I want to talk about XRP whale that sells 25 million XRP is $1 still possible this month. I never even thought it was possible this month, but a lot of people keep speculating about $1. I think more people are realizing that that's a lot of facade and FUD right now to get views. 
But hell, we'll read that still to read the article. And then XRP post first 2024 Golden Cross amid price uncertainty. So I think we're going to start here. Then we're going to go into the technical analysis. And then we're going to end with the XRP whale. So that was 25 million XRP. So good morning. My, um, uh, good morning. Mon it's Monday, March 18th, 2024. I'm XRP future millionaire. And I reside in the great state of Michigan. My voice already started out in a rough patch this morning as I'm trying to talk and nothing would come out. Um, so please make sure to hit that like button if you are watching so that YouTube will recommend this update. It'll allow not just more new viewers, but older viewers as well to find their way back to the community. And it'll allow YouTube to advertise through your feed. So if somebody's looking through the YouTube feed, we'll be part of the algorithm because you were hit that like button and we were recommended. So more people will be able to find us just by looking through their, scrolling through their YouTube feed. So let's read this real quick. XRP post first 2024 golden cross amid price uncertainty. So XRP, the sixth largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization, has posted its first golden cross of the year. A technical indicator that has historically signaled the potential for a bullish market trend. This occurrence coincides with the period of market uncertainty during which most cryptocurrencies saw profit taking. A golden cross occurs when a shorter-term moving average, such as the 50-day moving average, crosses above a longer-term moving average, like the 200-day moving average. This indicator is widely regarded by traders and analysts as a potential signal that indicates a long-term bull market emerging. XRP's recent price action has been a battleground for bulls and bears, with the token's value experiencing significant fluctuations. The formation of the golden cross has brought the glimmer of hope to investors. Suggesting that a change in momentum might be on the horizon. For XRP, the Golden Cross is more than simply a technical occurrence. It represents resilience. Despite the current market drop, XRP has reached a level that many in the community see as an indication of upcoming growth. The Golden Cross is a positive indicator, but it does not guarantee future performance. However, for many, the Golden Cross is a beacon of optimism, implying that XRP may see more positive momentum the days ahead. So following a rapid rise, XRP fell from $0.74 cents on March 12, showing that the bears are firmly defending the level. The bulls attempted to turn $0.67 cents into support, but the bears had different intentions. They proceeded to sell, bringing the price back below $0.67. Cents. The selling increased further as XRP fell to a low of $0.61.4. Cents. In the previous 24 hours, it reached $0.61, cents, but right now it's at $0.60.2. Cents. According to all signs, XRP might consolidate in a wide range between 50 and 74 cents for some time before its next major rise. A break and close above 74 cents will mark the beginning of a fresh upswing. So that's exactly what we're seeing with our technical analysis as well. A drop down would bring us to about that 51 cent level. And right now, this is not a surprise for us to start this week. This is where I believe a lot of people will get shaken out. As I said, we're going from wave three to wave four. So... And we talked about the dangers of the move by Bitcoin yesterday because if it fell out, we had a technical move down to 57, what is it, 59,000. So that's 8,000 point drop from here. But from wave three to wave four, the corrective wave, yes, we went up all the way to uh, 74 or 73.7. But the corrective wave suggests that Bitcoin should come down here, consolidate right around 55 to 57,000, unless it has bigger intentions. But wave three to wave four correction, then wave five is the most explosive wave. It's not greater than wave two to wave three, but it's usually equal to at least. So if that's the case, you'd still be looking at 80 something thousand after this consolidation. So I, I still don't buy into the 130 to 150,000 right away. I don't. But I could so, totally see 82 to 87,000 if this is done correctly, which means that XRP would have one large wave left. So I think XRP on wave five is going to outperform the market. And that's what I've been sticking to, and it does it every single time. First few waves, it always underperforms. At the very end of the rally, it always catches up to the rest of the market. So in this case, it would have to catch up to Bitcoin. And we're talking, you know, a couple hundred percent it would have to go from here. So, but that doesn't, uh, that's not just going to happen unifiedly right now. Because as we know, we have a big retracement happening right now. And we're targeting, if we go to the XR, this XRP chart that has the cup in the handle formation, we are targeting, we could have sold, anybody could sell. You could still sell if you want. So you can do whatever you want here. That's your, educate, you know, that's, your, that's your priority. 
That's why I said yesterday when XRP was up at 63, 64 cents, you know, or a couple days ago and then yesterday around 63, that you have a decision to make. If you want to sit through this, you can. But if you if you just don't want to hold the asset, if it's a swing trade asset, you might find it more uh, resourceful just to get out and uh, let your emotions stay in check. For me, this isn't the last part of this wave. So I'm waiting for the fifth wave. I know this is in the handle formation. I also know the handle is very volatile. So I'm expecting a return down to about 50 cents, 51 cents, confirm the bottom of this handle. I don't think it'll bring us down to the bottom of the rising channel at 43. Because if we break that handle, we could very well bust that formation. But right now, we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. The weekly golden cross, as we know, we've had four weekly golden cross. It's still very much valid. And to be honest with you, we have not been able to come back down and just hold that support of the weekly 20-day. Every time we move up, we come below it. We still have not had that volatile last uh, move out of here for XRP. With only the fourth golden cross emerging on its on XRP's price history, or the third, I should say, each of the first two times, XRP had a drop of 60% plus, and then it had a massive rebound of at least two to 300% each other time. This time we've had the drop of 53% approximately, but we never had that explosive move yet. So we're still in that consolidatory handle right now. So make sure you have an educated and informed reaction to what's happening. If you're not on XRP and you're looking to and you're craving to, watch for a drop down to that 51 cent on that handle. That could be your perfect buying opportunity. Obviously, that's contingent. We have to lose not just 59.8. I would, I would, I would argue, forget 59.8. We need to lose 5.83, the 20-day support in the weekly. If we lose that, then we could have a bigger correction down. And if you're looking to trade XRP in the USA especially, look in the video description below and or pinned comments. Get it in order now before we have the drop or before something more volatile happens. Look in the video description below and pin or pin comments below. That's BitUnix. In the USA, you don't need a VPN. They offer XRP. They are not down in high times of volatility. And um, they have the lowest spot and leverage trading fees in the USA. Get on there. Deposit money before the drop happens or before something happens to where you can start to accumulate as it starts coming down here. I would highly encourage everybody to use that exchange as it's not down in high times of volatility. We actually have a fighting chance. I put $2,000 on there so far so that if we do have a drop here, I can add to my bag with different things. As you know, I'm looking at the gaming tokens very closely, like Gala and some of the other ones, Mana, because there's a gaming convention coming up in a couple months. And we're going to be talking about this hardcore on the next drop. I'm loading up on gaming tokens. So if we get a big drop here, I'm not dumping my other stuff, but I will be adding some of these gaming tokens. Um, so right now, I think AMP as well. AMP is getting into an area where we're going to be able to load back up here. So let's just pay attention here. I wasn't ready yet, but we're getting closer. So I'd like to have 100,000 tokens. I sold, I bought at 0.049, sold at 0.017. And now if it gets back down to a range where hmm, somewhere around that 0 0.008 probably, I'll be very excited to try to take a chance here again. Maybe maybe not even that low, but we'll get into AMP on the live tonight. I want to stay into the flow that we have, but the gaming tokens are something that are going to be my next priority here. So if you're looking at the accumulation in this channel, when we get down here, if we do have this drop, like we're hoping with Bitcoin to 59, don't look at it as a disaster. Look at it as opportunity. I'm looking at this as a second chance to reacquire gaming tokens before this gaming convention because I believe the AI money that's pumping is going to shift into the gaming sphere during the convention because right now the AI convention, I believe, is either today or tomorrow. So that whole pump is going to end up reversing here on the AI tokens pretty quickly. So pay attention to that as that cash flow is going to dry up a little bit and it's going to find another area for buyers. And I believe the gaming tokens will be the next shift. So it's going to be very, very the gaming meme tokens. Um, so in the comments, let me know if you know of any that I should be looking out that we can further, you know, dissect into the uh, lives. So right now with XRP, I know this is getting a little lengthy here already. If you do appreciate my work, make sure you hit that like button so YouTube recommends this update. And then if you do appreciate my work, consider joining Tom's army and getting the emoji badge of me being abducted by aliens in month one. 
or sending one YouTube super chat per month as a way to pay it forward so I can continue to run this beautiful community. Just an honor and a privilege to continue to come here and share the knowledge that I have and show you the insights that I believe are going to come next. And like I said, we're very contingent right now, but once we lose this area at 604, this is a line in the sand, folks, and you can't just act like that's nothing. If this breaks down, we know we have a technical target here down to this area, and I overextended this on accident. Whoops. I knew I did that when I pulled. So we would have a technical move down into that range. So now if somehow, some way we could hold this, which I doubt we are. I told everybody yesterday there's a death cross, and we have to pay the piper right now. So... But this would be a beautiful consolidation. It would. And I know a lot of people are going to lose their mind. It's over. XRP is a pile of garbage. I know I know the standard operating uh, talk. But understand the rotation we're in. XRP, again, short-term golden cross. But that weekly golden cross is very much intact. And it looks like we're coming down to hit that support again. At least to hit the support. And that's right down here at 57.8 cents. And if we fall through there... We know where we're going. You know, I like to have all the analysis here so that we don't get tricked. And I even put it in green on the bottom to show. If that breaks, these are the uptrends that are below. Now the overextended wick you would expect there. But then you've got right here at 55 cents. At 55 cents. So that's what I'd be paying very close attention to with XRP. So what does that mean for today? Or what does that mean for XRP? That means I'm targeting about a 12.25% 12 drop here for XRP if we do lose this support level. I've been very transparent about it, and I even told everybody on Saturday, Sunday, if you don't want to be an XRP, you're up 80% right now. Take it. You know, if it's not the thing for you. Now, a lot of people are saying, oh, XRP is such a bad performing asset. It, it, I'm losing so much money by holding XRP and I, I should have bought all this other stuff. Well, that's why we own so many assets here. You know, that's why I own 11 to 12 different assets outside of XRP. We're currently up in everything right now, but on retracements, who knows? Who knows? You know, we could get a chance to reconsolidate. We could get a chance to add to our bags. Look at 5, 10% across the board. You're getting a lot of heavy hard hitters right now. So I'm focusing on XRP and Bitcoin. I think we're pretty solid and set with XRP's formation with the setup and the possibility of that 12.5% drop. XRP Bitcoin pairing, again, we're getting slaughtered. We're getting slaughtered here. And eventually we're going to have a massive reversal. But if we continue moving down, you know, the pairing could come to 832. But eventually, we're going to get a massive reversal here. And this pairing is going to shift. I'm telling you, on that next push up, I believe XRP is going to outperform Bitcoin and Ethereum 2 to 1, maybe 3 to 1. I think we're waiting for that final wave. And right now, we're just in the corrective wave. We don't know how far wave four is correct, or wave 3 to wave 4 is. As we've already come down from 74 cents with XRP on wave 3, as we're converting down on wave four. That's why I said I believe we're down into wave four now. We're going from wave three and finishing with the wave three to four correction. That started at 74.9 or 75 cents. With Bitcoin, it started at 73,700. So right now, Bitcoin's already about 7,000 points into the correction from wave three to wave four. And XRP so far, since the wave three correction started, and I've been very transparent with the wick off, I don't use it in my technical analysis, but I talk about it within my analysis so that we can put it up again. So right now, if you consider the fact that wave three correction started right there, we have already corrected some 20% right now. XRP has already corrected 20%, but within this corrective wave, it should be about 30 just because of how far we came up. It's usually about 20 to 30% of the move you made. They're about 30% on average. So you figure we came up, we had a nice move. And if you start from the very bottom when we were at, where's this back here? I mean, I don't know. That kind of seems like it could be a perfect area there. Especially if we did come up from that 42 at the end of August. Then we started rotating back up. Now if we did consolidate, nobody says we have to come all the way back down. But it's just generally... You have a nice correction on wave three to four. 
as I believe this is a five wave um, Elliott wave in five waves. So that's just what I'm looking at there. So make sure you pay attention to Bitcoin. If it does break down for Bitcoin, I know I was showing XRP, but if we're talking about Bitcoin, technically the breakdown target, we've already got rejected there and that's at 59,984. But if we're, if we're trying to revert, form some weird sneaky reversal here, which I doubt it, but if we are, Bitcoin could come back up here to like 70. Here, let's move this out into the future. 70. 3,000. Back test that. And then it could switch the technical move to 62,844. If you do it from there, because it's still going to be a technical drop from that channel. So that's what I'm looking at for Bitcoin. XRP, you've seen. Uh, one quick look at the total crypto market cap. Then I want to read this last thing about the whales. And then I'm going to update this because it's almost 10. Well, it's 1045 now. Total crypto market cap is falling outside of its technical movement. So that's very critical now. Very critical. Let me, I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff to get rid of the noise. Because I think it's beneficial here. So right now... We're almost outside of that support. Almost outside of that support. So if, Bitcoin, or if uh, the total crypto market cap does break outside, which it looks like it's starting to now, we're going to do not the widest di diameter, but one that's very critical because we had a resistance to support drop. So if we did get rejected here, total crypto market cap would come back down to $2.04 trillion. So that's not a crazy drop. But that would finish off, I believe, or at least this is what it's targeting for that wave three to four correction. And that would be a total drop for the market cap of about 23.7, 24%. So that's what I'm looking at. Unless we have some kind of sneaky reversal here, I'm looking for the correction. So beware XRP holders and understand what the accumulation phase means and understand why when people are asking me yesterday what they should buy, I said, if you would have asked me a few weeks ago, I would have been comfortable today. Not so much because we're, we could have or it's predicting a pretty big drop here. I would say anywhere between 15 to 25% across the board, maybe 30, depending on what your asset is, but it's gonna be about a 15% drop from where we're at now on top of what we've already had. So if you have $10,000 in investments, it's probably gonna be about a $1,500 loss right here. So that's just what I'm looking at. I'm very transparent, I'm not gonna lie to you. XRP post first 2024 golden cross mid price uncertainty. So this is uh, this is pretty cool. This occurrence coincides with period of market uncertainty during which most cryptocurrencies see profit taking. XRP, the sixth largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization, has posted its first golden cross of the year. As we already read that. So if you need to watch that again, go back to the beginning of the video. But I want to finish with this. XRP price. Whale sells 25 million XRP. Is $1 still possible this month? I never thought it was possible this month, as you all know. But some people were speculating it. But it just seems too optimistically upbeat. So here's the story highlights. An XRP whale transferred nearly 25 million coins to a sex. The sell-off sparked speculation as XRP gained an upward momentum following the dump. XRP's price jumps, however, a consolidation be looming over the crypto horizon. In an intriguing turn of events following a correctory phase witnessed across the broader crypto market recently, an XRP whale's massive transfer to Luxembourg, city-based SEX appears to be gaining noteworthy transit, traction among crypto market traders and investors globally as the Rippleback token's price regained an upward momentum today, March 18th, a middle recovery phase embarked upon a Bitcoin subsequent to its drop below 70K due to massive crypto market sell-off XRP's today's jump falls in line with the broader uptrend witnessed by altcoins across the cryptocurrency uh, universe. Meanwhile, the F above mentioned will have substantial 25.85 million XRP sell-off. First speculation over the Rippleback token's contrasting price action today as it surged despite supply gains on exchange. This in turn curated a turn of speculative buzz orbiting XRP's much awaited run to potentially scale the $1 level shortly ahead. A tidal wave of optimism on the token's capability to hit $1 already prevails in the broader crypto market, as seen by leading analyst predictions. According to the insights offered by Whale Alert, 24.85 million XRP worth 15.4 million was transferred by a renowned XRP whale to Bitstamp yesterday, March 17th. Following the whale's notable sell-off, the Rippleback token contrastingly 
gain an upward momentum reaching the 62 cent mark today. This sparked immense curiosity among crypto market enthusiasts globally questioning the whale's dump potential impact on XRP's price. Whereas the token's massive drop after hitting a peak of 74 cents has kept investors on their toes, this seems to be due to Bitcoin's recent price correction, although the broader market currently portrays signs of rolling out recovery. Despite the whale's massive dump to Bitcoin or Bitstamp, XRP is significant on pulling a 62 cent level, which it has not. It's fallen below 60. So just got to pay attention to this in all levels. Um, so, however, XRP in this is very, very XRP's open interest volume and OI weighted funding rate down as a press time sentiment of an imminent consolidatory phase loom with the RSI hovering at 52. So I believe we're in the correctory phase. We've been in it since 75 cents, but now we need to see where we can jump out of this. I'm XRP Future Millionaire. If you got anything out of this, please make sure to hit that like button so YouTube recommends the video. Subscribe to the channel and join the over 20,940 subscribers. We're very close to 21,000. Um, if you're looking to trade XRP or your favorite crypto, especially XRP in the USA with no VPN, and the lowest leverage and spot trading fees, look in the video description below and or pinned comments. Get your deposit on here now while this drop is happening so that you can take advantage of the drop over on BitUnix. They've been with us all through the lawsuit on regulatory uncertainty. You can leverage and spot trade and they have the lowest fees in the USA. No KYC is even necessary if you're not depositing from a bank or withdrawing to a bank. So if you're going from exchange to exchange, you don't need to do a KYC, no VPN necessary. Use an exchange that doesn't go down in high times of volatility and join me along the way because we have a lot of gaming tokens we're gonna have to buy here on this next drop. And I'm very, very excited to expand into the gaming tokens before the gaming convention in about a month and a half. I'll keep everybody updated on that, but I'm telling you, we're about to hit a home run here because we're gonna be out ahead. Stay blessed, everybody. And hashtag be better, do better in the comments if you made it through this extraordinary long update of now 27 minutes. And don't forget to give thanks to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ on this fine Monday morning as we start the plethora of this week ahead. Thank you all so much for giving me a chance.